What's up guys, my name is Uncaged Games. Today got a special little thank you slash channel update slash what's happening in the future for me video. I don't really know what to call this. I just felt like sitting down on my couch and talking to you guys because this is when I can actually just, you know, talk about stuff on my couch. Very comfy and I can do it right here. So first of all, I want to say thank you guys for getting me to 50,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. Technically, I'm at like almost 60,000. I'm at like 59,400 subscribers. I know I'm like very late on this but I want to thank you guys because that is halfway I'm over halfway to getting a hundred thousand subscribers on my YouTube channel which is crazy because I only want to get 1,000 subscribers on my channel and now I got it several times I got 59,000 so my goal for the end of this year is to get to a hundred thousand subscribers I know it's a lot but I believe that we can do it with all your guys support you guys are great you guys are watching videos liking it uh, commenting Follow me on Twitter, I don't know, that does have nothing to do with my YouTube channel, but still, thank you guys for that. If my channel gets 100,000 subscribers, YouTube sends me a silver play button plaque that I can hang up on my wall that says congratulations Uncaged Games for getting 100,000 subscribers, which I never got any trophy whatsoever in school. You know, I never played sports, I played, you know, I played it in the gym, but I never actually went on a team, I never, you know, did anything to get myself an award so now if I can get a silver plaque silver congratulation medal thing I will be super satisfied with my life because I actually got an award for something I love doing so if we can get a hundred thousand by the end of this year I will be beyond speechless I want to thank you guys so much pre I want to pre thank you guys does that make any sense no well I'm crazy right now but yeah I want to thank you guys for getting me 50,000 Subscribers. I wanted to do something special for you guys, but I couldn't really do the idea that I have in mind for you guys It just didn't work out. So I'm gonna save it for a later date and uh, Hopefully it turns out better than the one I worked on But I'm not just gonna leave you guys hanging because I asked you guys on Twitter that I'm gonna do a small Little Q&A video and I got a bunch of you guys questions on my phone right here So I will answer them, but before I do that I want to give you guys a little update on what is going on in my life what is going to happen in the next few months now I'm not gonna lie with you guys the next few months are gonna be crazy because if you guys don't know already I said that I'm going to uh, Florida Orlando Florida for vacation this weekend depending on when you watch this February 14th through the 18th I'm gonna be in Florida at Disney World because we haven't been on vacation when I say we me and my family we haven't been on vacation for the longest time so we're going to Florida so if any of you guys are in the area Orlando Florida and you guys are at Disney World or something I'll probably tweet out where I am if you guys see me feel free to you know tap me on the shoulder and say yo one cage I watch your videos you know we can take a picture or something you know what I'm saying we can do all that so if you see me don't hesitate Okay, even if I'm eating like a churro or something, say, Uncage, can I take a picture with you please? I'll do it, I'll do it. I did see a bunch of you guys comment on my video saying that, uh, I live in Florida, or, yeah, I'm in Florida, where are you going to be in Florida? So I'm going to be in Orlando, Florida, February 14th through the 18th, so if you guys are in the area, come see me. So after February, we got March. I'm going to PAX East March 5th through 7th. I'm leaving with my friends that Thursday and it's going to be an 11 hour drive. So I have a class that day actually so I'm going to take that class and right after I'm grabbing my bags and we're driving 11 hour drive to Boston for PAX East. So we're going to be there Friday and Saturday. So if you guys are in Boston or at PAX East and you guys see me once again feel free to go and tap my shoulder and say can I take a picture with you or I love your videos. That would mean a lot to me. I really want to meet at least one of you guys that watch my video cuz I see that I have like 59,000 subscribers almost 60,000 so if I can meet one of you guys in real life that would make my year that would also make my year that and 100,000 subscribers those two things would make my year so if you guys see me say hi say what's up at PAX East if there's a Mortal Kombat X booth which I'm pretty sure there is I'm gonna be there and I'm gonna be playing the crap out of that game. Hopefully Mortal Kombat X is even there because Mortal Kombat X was not at PAX South which confused me but I'm gonna be at PAX East March 5th through 7th alright so if you guys see me 
say hi. Next, we are in April, and April 3rd, this is a little, you know, off topic, but Furious 7, Fast and Furious 7 is coming out on April 3rd, and I'm a huge Fast and Furious fan, so uh, rest in peace, Paul Walker. I'm going to watch this movie, and I wanted to just let you guys know, because I'm excited for that movie. But April 14th, Mortal Kombat X comes out. Oh, yes, the game that we all been waiting for. The game is coming out April 14th. It's only three months away, so... It's just like everything is just going so quick. I'm gonna go to Florida, and then I'm gonna go to PAX, and then Mortal Kombat. So it's like a lot is happening. And a lot of you guys said, uh, what console am I getting it for? I'm getting it for the Xbox One and probably the PC. Next, we got May 1st, which is Avengers Age of Ultron is coming out. Yes, I am super excited for this Avengers movie. Oh my god, I just recently watched the first one over again great movie. So Avengers 2 is coming out May 1st. Super excited for that. And then May 16th, I'm going to Motor City Comic Con. I go to Motor City Comic Con every year. I went, I believe, three years in a row now. The first year, I met John Morrison from WWE. Second year, I met WWE diva Maurice. Last year, I went to meet Jason David Frank, the green Mighty Morphin Power Ranger, the white Mighty Morphin Power Ranger, the black Dino Thunder, the Red Zio, Red Turbo, I met him last year. And this year, the celebrity I want to meet is Ralph Macchio, the guy that played the Karate Kid, the original Karate Kid, uh, from the Karate Kid movie. I have my Karate Kid collector set, which has all the Karate Kid movies. Uh, it's not here with me right now, but it's like upstairs. So I'm going to get him to sign that, hopefully. So if any of you guys are going to the Motor City Comic Con, and if you guys see me, again, Say, Uncage, can I get a picture or something? I forgot to mention this, if I'm doing an interview with someone, please don't interrupt me until I'm done. So wait until I'm done with the interview, and then you can say, can I talk to you? I'm going to go to Motor City Comic Con May 16th, which is a Saturday, because Saturday is when everything is happening. So May 16th, Motor City Comic Con, I can't wait. Next, we got June 2nd, which is... Batman Arkham Knight. Oh, guys, the second game. The game that we also have been waiting for. I know I haven't really been covering that much Batman videos on my channel because I just haven't really felt like doing it. I, I don't see that much news. If there's news that come out, I'll actually do it. But right now, I'm just waiting for some uh, big news to happen, and I can't wait for this game. I pre-ordered it already. So June 2nd, Batman Arkham Knight, the final game in the trilogy. Can't wait for that. And then the last thing on my list is July 27th, which is my birthday! A lot of you guys have been asking how old am I, and I am 19 right now, but I'm going to be turning 20 July 27th. So if any of you guys want to wish me a happy birthday on that day, feel free to tweet at me on Twitter, Instagram, um, YouTube. You can put it in the comments of my videos, send me messages, I don't know, just do whatever you got to do. So that is all the events I have coming up in the next few months. It's going to be a really crazy ride. These months are going to go by super quick. I'm super excited to go to Florida, PAX East. I'm super excited for that. Hopefully I get to play Mortal Kombat X because when I go to PAX East, that is one month before the game comes out, before Mortal Kombat X comes out. So I get to play the game, if it's there, a lot of the characters because I'm pretty sure they're going to reveal a lot of the characters by then. So. That is cool. Motor City Comic Con is awesome. Avengers, Fast and Furious 7. It's a crazy, crazy ride. But enough of the future. We are in the present. And I want to thank you guys for getting me 50,000 subscribers, 59,000 subscribers by doing a quick little Q&A video. I know it's nothing too crazy, but I'll save the crazy special thank you later down the line. So, let's get on to Twitter. If any of you guys want to be in my next Q&A video, follow me on Twitter at Uncaged Games and then I might pick your questions there. So, let's do this. Besides Johnny Cage, who do you want in MKX? Why do I get this question all the time? You know what, I'm not, I'm not answering this question. I'm not answering this question. All right, next question. What character do you really want an appearance in MKX without being Johnny? Why did you originally start YouTube? Now, I know a lot of people that start YouTube or are starting YouTube, their main thing would be, oh, I want to start YouTube to make money. I want to be rich. I want to make a living off of, you know, doing YouTube videos. Now, me, I'm not going to lie with you guys. That was not the main reason why I started YouTube. I started YouTube. One of the main reasons is because I thought I was funny, and I think I'm still pretty funny to my friends, to my family. So why not uh, do little skits and videos, put it on YouTube? And that was on my original channel, but the main reason why I wanted to do 
YouTube was to get them custom thumbnails and custom banner YouTube backgrounds. That was my number one reason why I wanted to do YouTube. I see all these YouTubers with these custom cool looking thumbnails and when you start off with YouTube, you don't get to put custom thumbnails. You have to get the three default selected thumbnails they give you and you didn't have a banner back then. Back then you only had like the whole background but not the banner. And now everybody gets a banner so no one knows who's partnered and who's not. But that was my number one reason of starting YouTube. Do you have a rivalry with another YouTuber? No, but I'm just kidding guys. J Roar is an okay guy. He's he's okay. Okay, okay. Which console do you use? Prefer gaming. I use an Xbox. Uh, I usually prefer playing on a controller, so I play on my Xbox One, Xbox 360, and I've been recently getting into PC gaming because my PC is custom built. It's a gaming PC. It's a beast, so it can run games. I just haven't really played that much games, but I prefer the Xbox. If you had to play one game for the rest of your life, what game would it be and why? That is a really tough question, and my answer would have to be GTA 5 because I can do anything in that game. I can ride a bike, I can drive a car, do missions, swim, uh, skydive. You can do all the things in real life pretty much in that game. That game would probably last me a long time. Your dream Power Ranger team. Ooh, that's a good question. If you guys don't already know, I'm a pretty big Power Ranger fan. I've got to say that probably if I got to pick five Rangers for my team, I'd pick obviously Tommy, the white Mighty Morphin Power Ranger. I'd pick the Gold Zeo Ranger. I'd pick Blue Space Ranger, uh, Selma Ward. I'd pick Green Turbo Ranger, Adam. And I would pick, I need a female, so I would pick, uh, I would pick Emma from uh, Super Mega Force because you know. You know what I'm talking about, right? You, you know what I'm talking about. If you guys like Power Rangers, let me know your dream Power Ranger team down below. What are you going to do first when you get Mortal Kombat X? And what players are you going to play first? I'm going to play the story mode right away. I'm going to go in story mode, beat the game, see how the story progresses and how it plays out because I'm really interested in the Mortal Kombat story. Mortal Kombat 9 story was awesome. And Mortal Kombat X... I feel like it's gonna be great so I wanna play that first and then I'll probably play like online training to learn my characters the first character I'm gonna play as is probably Johnny Cage and I know I know I know oh big surprise Johnny Cage but if Johnny Cage is not in the game if he's not in the game I'm not saying he's not in the game because I still hope I still believe he's gonna be in the game if Johnny's not in the game I'm playing as Cassie Cage what was your goal when you joined YouTube that is a good question and I kind of answered it, uh, I believe in this video. My original goal was to get to 1,000 subscribers, get custom thumbnails, get a custom banner, and get partnered. Checked on the 1,000 subscribers, check on the custom thumbnails, check on the custom banner, and check on the partner. So I'm pretty set. Now my main goal right now is to get to 100,000 subscribers so I can get that silver play button plaque. I want that thing on my wall somewhere I'll figure out where to put it on my wall but I want that's my next goal if you were to take out a character that is already in MKX and replace them who would it be and why now before I give you guys my answer on who I would take out and put in in Mortal Kombat X I wanna say this is just my thoughts so don't kill me right now but every person that died in MK9 that is back in MKX like Katana, Kung Lao any people that died should be out of MKX. Characters that died in the story should stay dead. Now I know you guys are gonna say it's Mortal Kombat, anybody can come back. True, but I want the game to have somewhat of a story and I'm pretty sure they're gonna explain it in the game. But if they died, save room for returning characters that have not been in a Mortal Kombat game in a while. Put in characters like Kenshi and Rain, where they were not in the story mode for MK9 but they were DLC. Leave room for those characters, not bring back characters that died. It doesn't make sense. Why did you kill them and then bring them back? What was the point of killing them in the first place? But that is all the questions I'm answering for this Q&A video. I said it was going to be short. I answered like maybe 7, 10 questions, something like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed my questions and answers, update channel, update future for my channel video. I know this video has been really crazy. I said a lot of stuff, a lot of information. But hopefully you guys understood what I said, and hopefully I will see some of you guys in the near future at PAX, Florida, Motor City Comic Con, uh, what else? I think that's pretty much all the main points. 
Once again, thank you guys for giving me 50,000 subscribers. 60,000, I'm just going to say thank you already. I don't know if I hit it yet. And um, so if you guys enjoyed the video, give this video a like. Comment down below and let me know if you guys are going to be at PAX East. If you guys are in Florida, let me know where you guys are. If you guys are going to Comic Con, Motor City Comic Con, let me know those three things. And hopefully, I will see you there. But my name is Uncaged Games, and you just got caged.